Yesterday, the UPDF spokesperson, Brigadier General Felix Kulaije, revealed that Corporal Simon Agaba gunned down three of his colleagues deployed in Somalia's capital Mogadishu for a peacekeeping mission at base camp. He shot three of his colleagues randomly. We arrested him because, unfortunately, these guys, uh, the, 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 shot, the ones who were shot, died on the spot. In fact, one was still even in his uh, residence when he shot him. Now, since the incident, the UPDF has established a board of inquiry into the yet unknown issue that could have triggered the shooting. To establish what could have led this soldier to behave the way he did. Because every human behavior has a, a cause or a reason. The Board of Inquiry certainly will establish what exactly this is, could have happened. Nonetheless, he is pending trial, he is going to be court martialed for murder. And uh, reflecting on the incident, UPDF links the murder to suspected psychological trauma which some of the officers undergo. The conditions in Mogadishu are not very friendly, especially the weather, the water. Uh, so. We had to establish a psychiatry uh, unit, a psychological unit that is uh, purposely intended to do psychosocial support to the soldiers. Brigadier General Felix Kulaje father says arrangements are underway to bring the bodies back home for decent burial. The bodies of our dead comrades are going to be flown home to be given decent burial in their home areas where they come from. Ugandan troops make up about one third of the 22,000 African Union mission to Somalia, AMISOM. Well, in other news, Presidential Advisor on Special Operations, General Mohosi Kainerugaba, has declared war on the Minister for Internal Affairs, General Kahinda Otafire. In a tweet yesterday evening, the former UPDF Land Forces commander declared a fresh war against the minister and his group. Well, he said, Otafiri calls us mad people because we dare to ask the questions that even children understand. Let us teach Otafiri and his group that their time is absolutely over. Well, we don't know how this is gonna end, but of course I'll keep you posted right here on The Buzz UG. Well, in other news, uh, the president of uh, the National Unity Platform, Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu, aka Bobby Wine, has appealed to opposition supporters not to lose hope. He said Ugandans must remain determined to continue the struggle for a brighter future for all Ugandans. Bobby Wine has also appreciated everyone for the support and dedication to their cause of change of power. According to Bobby Wine, he's particularly inspired by the courage and uh, determination of uh, the youth. He said all this in his New Year's message. Well, there you go. That is the latest update on the Buzz UG this morning. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fuller, and it's a bye for now. Thank you. Yeah,